What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, before we get started with this week's episode of WWE's Biggest Issue, the, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close, and we are now 230 subs away from hitting 500 subs. And who knows, maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the year. Only time will tell. But as I've said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to, pot to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Tomb Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners over at Collector Store on the hopes to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of this set. But with that being said, if you guys want to see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a lot of you guys are, because more than 85% of you guys are watching the content, but you guys are not even subscribed. And to top it all off, we gotta get more women to watch the content as well. So if you guys are watching the content, you like the content, and you want more of the content, but you guys have not subscribed as of yet, then make sure you guys do indeed subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. All my ads will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below. Answering the question of the day. Which is basically th this week's episode. But the question of the day is this. Who would you guys like to see become the very first ever WWE Women's United States Champion? Let me know down in the comments below, and that and that's exactly what we what we are going to be talking about today is the is the announcement of the brand new women's United States Championship. Now, now with this breaking news, this basically means that that the women of WWE will be able to will be able to chase after yet another championship in WWE. Obviously, right now, we've got, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, over on Raw and SmackDown, we've got, we've got the Women's World Title and the WWE Women's Title, plus, plus the WWE Women's Tag Team Titles. Then, over on NXT, we've got the NXT Women's Title and the NXT Women's North American Title. Now, we have another championship for, for the Women's Division in the form of, of the Women's United States Championship, which honestly, which honestly looks absolutely amazing. It is, it looks absolutely beautiful, and we found, and we found out, we found out as a you know, you know, a little bit of uh, added news. Even though the women of of NXT have been have been eyeing have have had their eyes on 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 the title it will only be exclusive to raw and smackdown meaning meaning that whoever that whoever wins the title they will treat the women's united states title like it was the women's tag team titles and they will be able to go 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 on either raw or smackdown and defend the title there <clears throat> Excuse me. So honestly, I think it's awesome that that women in WWE are getting more and more opportunities to 
reach the mountaintop of of the of the division as champion. I I I think it's awesome. I mean, right now, li right now, Liv Morgan is the women is the women's world champion. Nia Jax is the WWE women's champion. Roxanne Perez is the NXT women's champion. Fallon Henley is now is now is now the NXT Women's North American Champion. And then, of course, Jade and Bianca are the Women's Tag Team Champions, which now there are a lot of tag teams across all three brands who are who are eyeing the tag team titles, including... <clears throat> excuse me. Including including the Judgment Days, uh, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez, uh, Metaphor, uh, Fatal Influence, uh, Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton. There's a lot of tag teams that are eyeing that are eyeing up, eyeing up those tag team titles. But the question is, what is WWE planning to do with the women's United States title? Well, well, there's a lot of things that we could expect to see. For one, for one, we could expect to see potentially. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Potentially, a tournament to a tournament that could potentially culminate at 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 Saturday night's main event for said for said title. We could end up seeing um, we could end up seeing qualifying matches for you know for you know for a ladder match, which is which is possible. You know you know like say six women, three from both brands duking it out for for the title or or we could also see history made because here's the thing out of out of every championship that we that that is currently in WWE the world heavyweight title especially especially with its rich history the WWE tag team titles the the Intercontinental title and the WWE title are the only ones that we know of so far that have been defended inside the Elimination Chamber. The US title has never been, been defended inside the chamber once. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to be able to see the women's United States title get to get put on the line inside the elimination chamber i think would be really really interesting especially the fact that especially with the fact that this that next year's elimination chamber is going to be in in toronto where as opposed to 2023 we had it we had elimination chamber in montreal which that 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 uh, that night right there spewed up a lot of controversy and I think you guys know exactly what controversy I am talking about. Obviously referring to the main event that featured Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. But what's but what's interesting though, <clears throat> excuse me, is that is that as of right now, it's like it's like almost like impossible to to figure out who, you know. You know who or what the qual you know you know like what the qualifying matches are going to be. You know how they're going to how they're going to determine de to determine a first ever champion with the fact that <clears throat> excuse me excuse me with the fact that Liv and Raquel have been have been dealing with pretty pretty much everybody on on Raw, including including the tag team champions, including Rhea Ripley. Um, you know, as well as Caden Carter and Katana Chance, there there's a lot of women on Raw that have an issue with 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 Liv and Raquel. Where as opposed to over on SmackDown, Naomi, Bailey, Jade, and Bianca, all four of them, all have had their issues not only with 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 Tiffany Stratton, but also with with um with the with the WWE Women's Champion Nia Jax as well, given the fact that Nia was the one that that beat Bailey for for the title at SummerSlam back in August, and <clears throat> and 
it's just it's there there's there's a lot of chaos there is a lot of chaos going going on right now across both brands that right now it's it's hard to depict how they're going to settle who will become the first ever champion but i will say i will say um I, I, I will say though I think uh, I think the only way to resolve like who would who could be the, who could be the first ever champion my opinion is obviously the elimination chamber because if you guys because if you guys you guys recall what was it back in April of this year so back back in back in <clears throat> back in April earlier earlier this year, at NXT stand, uh, stand and deliver, NXT GM Ava announced a announced another championship for for the women's division of NXT in the form of the women's North American title. That was that that one was determined by way of a ladder match at Battleground earlier this year inside inside the Apex in Vegas and and. Obviously, obviously, we saw we saw Kalani Jordan win 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 that title, but that but it took about two months, about two, almost three months, almost three months for for WWE to figure out what they're what they were planning to do with the women's North American title. I think I think that's exactly what what they're gonna do with this one is wait a few months and figure out what they're gonna do with that title. The way the way I see it, with with Elimination Chamber coming up coming coming up, I see no better way to make history than put the title on the line inside the Elimination Chamber. <clears throat> but as far as like who I believe should be in that match. First and foremost, in my opinion, Becky Lynch. I and I know what you guys are thinking. You 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 guys are thinking. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Becky, hasn't she er, ha, had enough championships already? Trust me. I get it. I get it. But think about this, right? Becky Lynch has done everything that that there is to do in WWE. She said that that she 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 wanted to be she wanted to be a champion. She became the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion. Ironically enough, she's a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion. As far as as far as the Raw Women's title goes, she's a three-time champion. She's also a former former Women's World Champion. She's also a former former Women's Tag Team Champion. She's a Royal Rumble winner. She's she's a WrestleMania main eventer. She's done literally everything that that she set out to do. But I feel like the only thing that that she has yet to accomplish. Is becoming the women's U.S. champion, and and you you guys know you guys know Becky Lynch just as just just as much as just as well just as well as I do. She wants to make history, and I think this title is the perfect way to make some make a little more history is by being the first ever women's U.S. champion. Um. Next up, though, I think as crazy as it sounds, and I'm probably gonna get, I'm probably gonna get some some form of heat heat for this, but I think Raquel, I think Raquel Rodriguez, and the the reason why I say I say Raquel Rodriguez is because with. With Liv Morgan already already the women's world champion, and with those two challenging <clears throat> challenging Jade and Bianca for the tag titles li tag titles li um uh later later tonight on Raw, I really don't see any other way to to establish dominance as part as part of the Judgment Day than going after the women's U.S. title, and I think that would be a good way for for Raquel to to get her redemption I guess if you will by being by becoming the first ever women's US champion as you know you know because you know because 
because the thing is, the only championship she ever held on, you know, since joining, since joining the main, since being a part of the main roster, were the women's tag team titles, and she's a what, two time, three time champion. So, I mean, I mean, for her, I mean, her first singles goal definitely should have, should, should be the women's U.S. title. Um, as far as like who I believe should be the last person on the Raw side of things, as crazy as it sounds, I would say Zelina Vega, but I think it would have to be, um, it would definitely have to be, be Ivy Nile. I think, I think with how much she's with, I think given the fact that AJ has not, not AJ, that Ivy Nile has, um, that Ivy has done a lot for, for American Made. She's done a lot for the Creed, for the Creed Brothers when they were a part of uh, Diamond Mine over on, on, on NXT. I think, I, I think she's pretty well, well overdue, long overdue, a singles title. <clears throat> and in my opinion, it would have to be the women's U.S. title. Now, as far as the SmackDown side, side, side of things, crazy, crazy as it sounds, Blair Davenport. I think Blair, um... Is being has been overlooked. He's she's been um, she's she's probably probably one of the most underrated talent that SmackDown has right now. And and the thing is, we hadn't seen seen much of her since um, I think since uh, since the road to Clash of the Castle, which was in uh, in Glasgow, Scotland. So. We didn't we hadn't seen seen much of her since then, and I think I think this would be a good a good opportunity for Blair to finally you, you know you know to finally break out and show show the world who she really is. Um, who else do I believe should be in the in the chamber? Um, uh, Meechan definitely is <clears throat> definitely is one is one that that comes into mind because. Because if you guys recall earlier this year, excuse me. If you guys recall earlier this year, I, I mentioned Battleground, and we saw, um, we saw Meechin compete in the ladder match at at Battleground for said women's North American title. And thing is, she came this close. She came this close from being champion. And she's been way, way long overdue a title, a title opportunity. I think honestly, now is the time to put to put some gold around the waist of Mi Chin. Um, and then, as far as the last person goes, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm being real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get get some heat for this one, but I think Tiffany Stratton. I think. With her with her performance inside inside the chamber this past February, which was in Perth, Australia, um, with her with her performance there, she was she she dominated. She was on. She had such an she had such an outstanding showing, an outstanding performance in in inside that chamber, and in spite in spite of the outcome, she had nothing nothing to be ashamed of and even though yes she does hold the money the bank briefcase which obviously threatens you know both Liv Morgan and Nia Jax I could totally see Tiffany Stratton going after the women's US title and then waiting and then waiting until potentially WrestleMania to cash in on on Nia and then and then she automatically becomes the only woman in WWE to hold both, to hold both the WWE Women's Title and the Women's United States Title. Honestly, I could totally see it, but as far as like who I would like to see become the first ever champion, easy, Mi Chin. I think, excuse me, in in my honest opinion, I think Mi Chin is well, well long overdue for for a title for a, for a championship accolade. Even though yes, yes, she's had she's had title title accolades, you know, in other promotions, you know, like like uh, 
like uh, TNA and, and, and whatnot, she has never held any gold in WWE, whether it was a, whether she was on Raw, on SmackDown, NXT, it don't matter. She has never held any gold. And I think now is the time to put some gold on Mi Chin. And I think, honestly, I think, she, I, I think she would make one hell of a first ever Women's U.S. Champion. But I want your guys' opinion. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on, on this whole situation. What type of match do you think do you think should do you think the title should be defended in and who should be the first ever champion? Let me know down in the comments below. And that will do it for for this week's episode of WWE's Biggest Issue. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue in the future, then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. And as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. All of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.